Hey folks, I'm Peter Melhorn. If you're frustrated with the catfish spawn, well, you're going to want to watch this video because we're going to try to catch blue catfish out of their spawning beds. All right, guys, let me tell you what we're going to try to do. A couple of years when I got my structure scan, I started noticing big, rounded out areas in different parts of this reservoir. Uh, they were pretty big, two to three feet across, and some of them had fish in them. You could see the shadow off the fish sitting in the middle of these uh, rounded out areas. They looked like craters on the moon. Uh, and they would be there, and then they would go away later in the year. I would go back to these areas and check, and my theory is that it's catfish beds and it's catfish spawning. It's got to be either catfish or gar because they're in deep water. They're not up shallow like bass are. Uh, we know that the, the fish that are in them are rather large. We know that carp spawn up on the grass, up in the shallows. So do bass. Bass are up along the bank. I have no idea anything about gar. They're pretty big. Um, the only other fish in this reservoir that is that big is blue catfish and flathead catfish. And I know everybody says the popular wisdom is, oh, they go into holes and stumps and all this stuff. Well, this reservoir is over 100 years old. There aren't that many stump holes left in it. Or there aren't that many stumps left in it. It's a very silty bottom uh, in areas that are soft and in areas uh, that are harder, it's red clay. It's a hypothesis at this point, but we're gonna try it and see if we can catch some spawning blue cats in these areas. All right, this does not look like the fish we're looking for. We'll see. Didn't go over like a freight train. He has gotten into another line. He is in another line. Generally, that's a bad sign. They usually pop off. It's a good sized channel anyway. Good size channel. One of the byproducts. Not what we're looking for. But you never know what's going to be laid up around these nests down here. It's a decent channel cat for this lake. It just don't get that big anymore. Female. We know they're done spawning. Been catching a lot of females. Back alive. I think we got one going here. Let's see what this is. Uh, feels like a channel cat again. Bad gamut. Bad gamut. We're dragging these areas. I found these pockets, these places, these craters, various different parts of the lake, and it's funny how they're in certain areas and they're not all over and I don't know why I haven't made a correlation I've just noticed that it's been in deeper water 25 foot plus water and uh, this is a channel cat that damn it that's all right we'll take him uh, and he is rare throat hooked fish on a circle hook very rare that that happens First, get that bait out of the way where I can see what I'm doing. There he is, got him. Get him back in the water. So the original plan was to do this uh, mid-May, late May, uh, at the peak of what we typically call the peak of the blue cat spawn. Sadly, between work and travel, I wasn't able to fish any here during that time period. So I'm out here kind of late. It's early June. Catfish are still spawning though. Um, and I've been seeing some in some of these craters on the side scan. Um, not as many as I've seen in the past, but uh, I'm gonna try to catch some. All right, got one that's just folded over out here and peeled some line. This is probably a blue, or the biggest channel cat I've ever seen in Lake Wally. Uh, it should be a blue cat. Came through this area where I had one of those fish in one of those beds and I drug it across it twice. It looked like there may have been one in another one. I don't know. All I know is I got bit. And I've actually got one on that perch right over there if you keep an eye on it. Better fish. Better fish. This is a 30 pound Andy line. 50 pound leader. 
I'm not sure what kind of cork I've got on this Santee style drift rig. We will see. We will see what hooked the beast. Looks like a decent fish. Of course, I've been pulling in three and four pound channel cats all day, so anything over five pounds feels good. Ooh. Oh, yeah. That's some bow, baby. This could be a netter. It's acting like a netter. Oh, it's acting like a netter. It's a good fish. Big male. Big, nasty, horribly mean male. An unhappy fish. A big male who's had a very, very rough spawn. That's a big male. Let me see if I can bug him. I think I can. Got it. Got it. Easy. Ease him into the boat. Good job. Good job. Good fish. Good fish. Good fish. Excellent fish. Spawning male blue cat. Look at that sucker. He's a nice one. He's a nice one. Love it. Look at that fish. That's a fat one. It's a great one, guys. Yeah, who knows if that was the fish that was in that bed or not. We came right over it. Uh, it showed up pretty good. Uh, maybe it was, maybe it wasn't. I don't know. But uh, we got one. We plucked one out of the bed. So, uh, Pretty happy with that. That's a tough fish to come by this time of the year, especially being a male. There's a perch hitting already. Boom, got him. <laughs> These are fun to pass. Ooh, deuces. Deuces. This is what we call deuces, people. Get this one hook set on him. Should already be set real, real, real. Got him. Right, not as big as I thought. Bail on that. But all these places I've marked these beds are in deeper water. Like I've said before, my hypothesis is we know that it's a large fish just from what we've seen on the sonar. We know we basically have two, I'm sorry, three to four large fish in this reservoir. Two of them being catfish, one being carp, one being gar. Those are really the only fish that are capable of getting. There he goes, digging, three feet long. Ooh, he's staying down like he's somebody now. So my theory is, we know that carp spawn up shallow in grass. So do bass. Well, not in grass, but up shallow. And we know that I don't know where gar spawn. I don't know where they spawn at. Could be gar beds. With that in mind, it's got to be catfish. Got to be. Something's laying in those holes. It might be this piglet. Nice fish. Nice fish. It's right over one of these beds, too. Big female. Nice female. A very upset female. But a good one. Good looking fat female. Fat girl. Look at that. Nice fish. Nice fat female. All right, folks, that's a pretty good day on the water. Put a lot of fish in the boat, put some big fish in the boat. There's something up with those craters. There's something there. There's there's something to it. There's fish around it, and uh, the fish I caught proves it. So whether it was just the deep water, they like laying in the holes, or they're spawning in the holes, there's something to it. So I'm going to keep exploring it. Somebody remind me to explore it more next year during the peak of the spawn, because I'd really like to get out here and do some bottom bouncing on that stuff then during the peak of it. So. Hey, if you liked this video, learned anything, please consider subscribing, smash the thumbs up, and hit that little bell that way you'll be notified when any new videos come out. We look forward to seeing you on the water.